And welcome back to your regularly scheduled math torture. I mean fun. Let's get back to it, my math party people. So in the previous video, we went over, again, multiplying polynomials. And you had, you know, a binomial times a binomial, blah, blah, blah. The, the question was, well, what if we have more complicated stuff going on? What if we have not just, you know, two terms and two terms? What if we have two terms and three terms? Or three by three? Or four times, five, you know, right? What, what happens? What changes? The answer is absolutely nothing. In this video, I'm going to show you why the main rule for the distributive property stays true no matter if you're multiplying a monomial times a binomial, whether you're multiplying a binomial times a binomial, a binomial times a trinomial, doesn't matter. The rule stays the same. So remember, if you watched the previous video and the one before that, I always said you got to make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. That is the surefire way that you will get this right every single time, every single time. So I'm going to take you through about two or three of these examples here for, you know, more complicated here. And I'm going to show you again, it's not that crazy. So watch this. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We have two terms here and we have three terms here. How do we do this? Super straightforward. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this 8P multiplies with the 6P squared. We're also going to make sure that the 8P multiplies with the negative 7P and also make sure that it multiplies with the 6 at the end. Again, make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. Booyah! And then once you're done with that, then make sure the 4 goes here, here, and there, and you're good. So let's take it one step at a time. So notice that we have three terms. So 8P needs to go three times in there. So start with the blue. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. 8p times 6p squared, 8 times 6 is 48. p times p squared is p cubed. That's number one. Number two, 8p times negative 7p. All right, well, negative times a positive is a negative. 8 times 7 is 56. p times p is p squared. Next up, we have ourselves 8p times the positive 6. 8 times 6, that's going to be 48. And then there's just a P there. That's it. Because again, 2X times 5 is going to be 10X. The X, even though the other one didn't have an X, that's fine. It just stays there. So now we're going to go ahead and take care of that 4. We're going to have the 4 multiplied by the 6P squared. Okay. That's going to be 24P squared. Next up, let's use a color I haven't used yet. 4 times negative 7P. 4 times negative, well, negative times a positive, that's going to be negative. 4 times 7 is 28, and then we have just the P left over. And then lastly, what we have a math party, people, let me see if I have a color we haven't used yet. A sky blue, okay. We have 4 times 6, and that's going to be 24, and that's it. Really, the biggest thing you need to take care of and watch out for are those signs. As long as you take care of the signs and multiply the right way, you're good. You're good. Because now what we're going to do, combine any like terms that we have, and that's it. We're done. So let's go ahead and check it out here. Do we have any P cubes here? Any P cubed? No, I don't see any P cubes. So this I'll just go ahead and rewrite as 48 P cubed. That's good. We're good. Next up, do we have any P squared terms? So we have negative 56 P squared, positive 24 P squared. So we do have P squared terms. We can combine those like terms. So we have negative 56 plus 24. We can just go ahead and reverse the order. Just do 56 minus 24, keep the answer negative. If you need help working with adding and subtracting negatives, if you're in the course, go back to those videos. They're there for a reason. So here, 56 minus 24, what's that gonna be? That's gonna be 32. Keep that negative, so negative 32. Negative 32p squared. And I'm gonna highlight that in purple to show you that that's where I combine those two terms. Next up, my math party people, we've got the 48p. Do we have any like terms with that? Yeah, negative 28p. So 48 minus 28, that's gonna be 20. And so that'll be right there, positive 20p. 
So I'm going to highlight that to show you that that's where I combine those like terms. Lastly, the plus 24, nothing else combines with it. So we just write plus 24. And there it is. If you want to go ahead and erase those highlights, there's our final answer and we're done. So again, remember, the idea doesn't change. Distributive property is make sure everything from one parenthesis multiplies with everything from the other. Once you get used to it, you're going to move like lightning fast, fast, fast. You might not even have to write some of these steps out and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So there it is, my math party people. The answer here will be A, 48P cubed minus 32P squared, 20P, 24, all good. Let's take care of another one here. Over here we have 77. Let's take care of business. Starting straight up from the first one. 8N is going to go with all three of these. So here we go. 8 times 6, 48. N times N squared is N cubed. Next, 8N times negative 6N. Negative times a positive is negative. 8 times 6 is 48. N times N is N squared. Just like that. And here is your regularly scheduled announcement, my party people. Remember guys, I host a free class every single week and more classes beyond that. So make sure to check the group tutoring schedule so you know when the classes are, when you can expect to see me live so you can raise your score and get that job you want. So click there to see the schedule and let's keep getting back to the YouTube video right over here. All right, up next, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and keep it going. 8n still needs to multiply with that negative two. 8 or a positive times a negative is a negative. 8 times 2 is 16. And then you keep the n from the 8n. Now, here we go. We're all done here because there are three terms here. So 1, 2, 3. We've done that. Now here, 1, 2, 3. Just like that. So up next, what we're going to do is take care of this one now. 8 times 6n squared is going to be positive 48n squared. Next up we have ourselves eight times negative six n. Positive times a negative is a negative. Eight times six is 48. And then you bring the n. And then lastly, we have eight times negative two. Positive times a negative is a negative. Eight times two is 16. And that's it. So now we combine our like terms and we're done with math party people. We are done. So our highest term here, the 48 n cubed, stays the same. Then we see over here that we have negative 48 n squared, positive 48 n squared. Well, actually my math party people, those are gonna cancel because you have a positive and negative of the same number. You combine them, they cancel out. Goodbye. Then up next, we have ourselves over here, negative 16 n minus 48 n. So if you're already negative, going more negative, you just add those numbers. 16 plus 48, that's gonna end up being 64, negative 64. So negative 64 right there, keeping that same variable, the n. And lastly, the minus 16 doesn't have anything to combine with, so we keep that there, and we're done. And so the final answer here will be right over here, b. That will be the correct answer. So again, my math part of people, does this seem much different than the previous video where we had two by two? Now we have a two by three, nothing changes. It's the same exact idea. Make sure that everything from one parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. If you work it out that way, you're golden every single time. So it's going to take care of number 78, my math party people, and we are done. And we'll move forward from here. So same idea. Just start it off. 8p multiplies with 2p squared. 8 times 2, 16. p times p squared, p cubed. Boom. Up next, 8p times p. Well, that's going to be 8p squared. Next up, 1, 2, 3, 8p times negative 8, negative 64p. Take it one step at a time. Up next, we have ourselves negative 4 times 2p squared. That's going to be negative 8p squared. Then we have negative 4 times positive p, negative 4p. And then we have negative 4 times negative 8, negative times a negative is a positive, 32. And there we have it. And so now the last step of math party people is going to be combining like terms. There are no p cubed terms, so we just write 16p cubed. Then over here, we see that we have 8p squared, negative 8p squared. Oh, cancels out, cancels out right there. Then we have ourselves negative 64p, negative 4p. And what we have there is going to be negative 68p. 
And then lastly, plus 32, we just write that out and we're done. Booyah, we're all good. C is the answer and we're done. And so again, my math party people, I really wanna prepare you the right way for anything that you might see. And in this case, stick to the fundamentals, just like everything else. If you stick to the fundamentals, you give yourself the opportunity to see how a complicated problem is really just one or two extra steps. So with that said, my math party people, let's keep moving forward now. If you're in the course of the program, move forward to those worksheets and then move forward into those speed drills. That way you can really accelerate that process of building that confidence to guarantee that you'll do well when time comes. So I'm Coach Anderson. I'll see you in the next video and let me know if you have any questions. I got your back. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.